This portion of the show is being brought to you by Smiling Eddie's Plumbing Service, offering their famous seven-day-a-week, nine ninety-five emergency service. Mm. So the next time your toilet stops up, mm-hmm. just bring it on down to any one of their one convenient location mm. and ask for their special no-frills service. Mm-hmm. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Getting Old Ain't for Sissies with your host, Tom Rivers. Me. Tom has paid his dues in the radio business doing morning shows maybe in your town. Tom's 47-year career took him to places like Milwaukee, Kansas City, Indianapolis, Chicago, Albuquerque, Sacramento, Cincinnati, San Antonio, and a few places I can't mention for legal reasons. Lies. This portion of the show is being brought to you by the all-new Ed, the gas-saving sports car that gets 50 miles per gallon in the country and 45 miles per gallon in the city. Remember, these estimates are figments of our advertising department's imagination, and <laughs> your mileage will probably be really lousy. <laughs> and now here he is, a man in his seventh decade of life, the old hip- for himself and my good buddy Tom Rivers. Thank you, Doug Dahlgren. <laughs> Funny stuff there, folks. A lot of folks uh, thought uh, President Obama's birth certificate was a phony. Doug doesn't even have a birth certificate. Nope. His parents were given a letter of apology from Planned Parenthood. <laughs> It's right. Uh, last time on episode 35, we talked about how you should poop. Yeah, beer bellies and how ladies can kill their husbands. Yeah, but first, I got to tell you about this. Uh, good news. You can still email me and you can text me here at G O A F S. That's right. Email's still working. Uh, You can email me at iCloud.com. T-O-M-M Rivers, all lowercase, at iCloud.com. That's T-O-M-M Rivers at iCloud.com. All right? And you can text me. All right? All you have to do is call 214-707-5741. And let your fingers do all the work. You know, I got to tell you a quick story about texting. I was doing some texting, and uh, for the longest time, a couple of weeks now, I've been putting up with this woman calling out every single letter and number that I would press on my smartphone. And I couldn't figure out how the hell to shut her up. So I finally gave up. I was going crazy. The voice. The voice was driving me crazy. I couldn't text anymore. So I finally called Apple Support. And there's a way you can shut off that voice. Wow. Now I can text in peace. No more voice with every letter. A. Apple. P. Peter. That was driving me crazy. Thank you, Apple Support. They really do a good job there. I will give them that when they're not spying on you. Hey, do you have broccoli brain? Uh, Broccoli brain. Coli brain. That's it. I have broccoli brain. Eating leafy greens helps preserve intelligence over your lifetime. I have an overabundance of saliva today. I don't know what it is. Bear with me. Uh, Research finds that you have uh, a way to preserve your intelligence over your lifetime. Leafy greens and other foods contain lutein, a plant pigment that protects the brain from aging. Foods that contain high levels of lutein include leafy green vegetables like kale, Uh and spinach, as well as broccoli. Broccoli! Broccoli! Remember when Dana Carvey did that? I think he did that bit at the piano for his audition for Saturday Night Live. You can also uh, eat cauliflower and cabbage. Uh, I like broccoli. It's not that bad. That's from uh, Frontiers in Aging, Neuroscience, a research journal. 
You ever felt like you were uh, getting a little uh, inkling that you were going to be fired? You know, a second sense that you were going to be fired? Here are some signs your boss is getting ready to fire you. He seems annoyed by everything you do. He or she starts to micromanage you. There's nothing you do that isn't criticized. It's kind of like being married. (laughs) Or living with your ex-wife. Small talk has evaporated. And you know you're about to get fired. If your boss won't even greet you with a smile. That's from Forbes magazine. Well, the 22nd. When is that? That's Saturday. Is the first full day of fall. I suggest you start packing your bags. Fall is one of the best times of the year to travel. Not only is it cheaper than traveling during uh, the summer or holidays, fewer crowds, beautiful foliage, milder weather, and... uh, It's perfect for exploring. Got that one from Business Insider, and hey, it's just plain common sense. It's a better time to travel. What side do you sleep on, your left side or your right side? Well, how you sleep affects your happiness. Studies prove right-side sleepers have more common positive dreams than those who sleep on their left side. From Woman's World magazine. Now, a few years ago, I really found it uh, easy to sleep on my left side until I had my left hip replaced. Now I find it easier to sleep on my right side because if I sleep on my left side, it bothers my hip and my lower back. Not to mention, I feel like I can hear every beat of my heart. But if I sleep on my right side Uh, excuse me (laughs) yeah this is live but if I sleep on my right side then I fall asleep a lot quicker especially if I double dose the Ambien I'm just kidding you don't do that kind of stuff come on who in their normal right mind would do that not me how's your brain Are you a go-getter, or do you have a lazy brain? Well, the next time someone calls you lazy, tell them to blame it on your brain. The human brain is hardwired for laziness. Scientists have just found that out. Given the choice, your brain automatically chooses the sofa over the gym. The findings help to explain why around 30% of adults and 80% of teenagers do not meet minimum requirements for physical activity. And society is becoming less active in general. It's (laughs) neuro-something. Neuropsychosis, that's what I have. I have it. Believe me, I really have it. I wonder if you're laughing right now, because I can't even pronounce this. Neuropsychologia. <laughs> I don't care. I can't say it. I can't pronounce it. Screw it. Take two. <laughs> and call me in the morning. Who's smarter? You or your mate? About four in ten people believe that they and their partner are equally intelligent. But another 23% of people say they think they're more intelligent than their spouse. Men, 25%, were slightly more likely than women, 21%, to say they are the brains in the whole family. That's from YouGov.com. And this really sucks. Really. There are about 50... 15,000 vacuum cleaner related accidents in the U.S. every year. That's how I know it sucks. 
I was going to tell you a story about someone I knew in Chicago that could do a real neat trick with the vacuum cleaner, but I think I'll pass on that because it's really personal and I could probably get in a lot of trouble with that. <laughs> oh, man, why do I even get into these things? And we told you last time I would tell you the history of the chastity belt. Well, you know what a chastity belt is, right? Kind of a metal piece of underwear women used to wear with a padlock. Most people think that chastity belts were created to prevent a wife's adultery in medieval times. Well, that's not true. Chastity belts were invented in the 1800s by prudes who wanted to prevent dangerous masturbation. Would I kid you? I kid you not. <laughs> dangerous masturbation. That uh, that should go along with the story about vacuum cleaner accidents. Because that's what I was going to tell you about the woman I knew in Chicago. <laughs> oh, man, my sick. I uh, got that uh, chastity belt history story from LiveScience.com. You want to go there and check it out yourself. All right, that's, uh, what are we, episode 36 of Getting Old Ain't for Sissies. What's coming up on episode 37? Well, Coke with Pot, Bottoms Up, It's Coming, Amazon Christmas Trees, and Buzz Off. All that and more coming your way on episode 37 of G-O-A-F-S. Getting old ain't for sissies, buddy. With me, Tom Rivers. Bye! This portion of the show is being brought to you by Ed's Genuine Authentic 100% Imitation Wigs and Toupees. Ed's Wigs and Toupees are so realistic and lifelike that no one will even suspect you're wearing one unless they happen to glance over in the general direction of your head. Thanks for listening to the old hipster Tom Rivers and getting old ain't for sissies. Tom focuses on things you may not find on the radio when it comes to the aging process. Tom's lived it, so he knows what to pass on to you, like relationship advice for those over 60, how to get a good night's sleep, treat your body better by eating better, how to be happy again and avoid stress. And every now and then, Tom will touch on some touchy items in the news. Tom's Getting Old Ain't for Sissies can be found on Spotify, SoundCloud, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, and Tom's personal Facebook page. And remember, on any of those media platforms, please click either like or favorite so Tom gets credit for his work. Thanks again for being here. This is Dr. Aldrin in Chicago. Good night. Good night.